everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you all are having an awesome day. I know this video is coming up a little late. I wanted to do this like so much earlier, but I, you know, I had so many ideas and so many palettes to choose from. And I ultimately decided to um, stick to a palette that I'm pretty sure like a lot of people have because it's so popular. And plus it's been out for a while and you know it's been on sale a couple of times. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I think that this palette just screams Valentine's Day and I mean you can just come up with so many romantic looks with this. So I am going to do something really simple, nothing too crazy and blown out because honestly, like me for example, I always tend to cry on Valentine's Day. My husband always finds some way to pull at my heartstrings and I am not a romantic person. Like I hate romance movies. I don't like to feel things. I don't want to cry. I don't want to... If I watch a movie, the only thing I want to be is scared. Like, <laughs> that's the only emotion. That's why I love horror movies. And also, I wanted to do something that's not too, you know, not too much going on because, you know, you're probably going to be staying up late, you know, doing things. And the last thing you're worried about is your makeup or taking it off. Or if you do take off your makeup, you don't want something that, you know, you just want something you can just like choo -choo, done and go on about your business so you can, you know, get on to things. <laughs> so I have really, really been thinking about this look. <laughs> so, and I'm only using like two brushes and one of them already comes with the palette. I know a lot of people have said that they hate the brushes that go with it because it is a little scratchy, but I have found that if you wash this brush in like um, um, baby soap or a conditioner, it makes the bristles so much smoother, you know, and, and softer. It's not so harsh. So if you deal with like scratchy brushes, wash them in some conditioner or some baby shampoo and they will definitely be softer. You're welcome. Now that does work for, you know, natural hairs. Um, not so much synthetic. Um, so I am assuming that this is a natural hairbrush. <laughs> okay. So the first color we're gonna go in with is burnt orange. I absolutely love this color and it's in other palettes too. So if you don't necessarily have the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm pr you can, well, yeah, you could probably make this look with the Soft Glam palette, definitely. Um, so we are going to go in with Burnt Orange. Actually, yeah, you probably could. Yeah, you could do this look with either the Modern Renaissance palette or the Soft Glam palette. Imagine that. And I'm keeping this nice and low. I'm not going past my crease line. Okay. Now, I'm gonna warm this up a little bit with Venetian Red. I absolutely love this color. Now, if you're using a soft glam palette, you would probably want to use, you might want to mix like sienna with uh, mulberry to get more of a reddish hue. Oh, so gorgeous. Why am I only doing one eye? <laughs> All 
All right, let's catch the other side up. never really celebrated Valentine's Day before. Never really wanted to. I always felt like you shouldn't need a day. You know, like one day should not be designated to show your love to um, the person that you're with or the people that you love. Until I met Jerry. <laughs> Now he always makes me look forward to Valentine's Day. But, you know, it's still true. You know, don't just allot one day to show your love and affection to someone. You should make an effort to do that every day. These colors just blend so easily. I, I just love Anastasia Beverly Hills um, formulas. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna take that same blending brush and you know, just swirl it around in the color switch if you have one. If not, just use another brush. Or if you don't care, just keep using the same brush, whatever. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Cypress Umber and we're going to darken up that outer V. You don't want too much, just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. I'm just going back and forth and up and down. Okay. So it should look like that. And I'm just gonna make this, this side a little more red because I did not do a color swatch before I started filming. So I still had like some residual colors. And as my dad would say, that's mo better. <laughs> yes. Okay. <clears throat> now, we're going to use the shader side of the same brush. And I don't know, I'm kind of torn between Primavera or um, Vermeer. I think I'm gonna go in with Primavera. Um, it's a little more golden, not as icy, but honestly, you can use whatever color you want. Heck, you could use any shimmer color you want. It doesn't even have to be from the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay. Then we're gonna take a little bit of Primavera. And we're just gonna pat this on the lid. And you just wanna take it right up to the cypress umber. And by packing it, it helps it kinda of like blend together easily.
Oh, beautiful. Now, just keep on packing it until the Primavera color is opaque. And honestly, you know, you're kind of like doing a cut crease, like a half cut crease. Beautiful. We're going to do the same on this side. I am so loving this. I could really go for a steak right now. Like I am craving steak. I wanted steak earlier this week, never got it. But Valentine's Day, I mean, like, steak. That's what you do, right? Ugh. I'm loving this look. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and concentrate on the bottom. So, uh, we're gonna take that second brush, um, and this is just a little detailer brush. I absolutely love this brush. Uh, this is a Morphe R43. It's from their rose gold collection. I absolutely love this brush. Um, it's just perfect for smudging lash lines. So we're gonna go in with Cypress Umber. And again, a little bit goes a long way. And we're just gonna sm um, smoke this out on the bottom lash line, and I'm going all the way in, just to find like the outer um, two thirds, I guess, of the eye. Okay, <laughs> Jax just remind me of, um, I have a new obsession with Live PD on a and &E. I absolutely love that show. And I love, there's this one canine in Pasco County, Florida. His name is Shep. Oh, I love Shep. And you know, I always heard people say, like whenever I would hear people talk about Live PD, people would always say, get off my dog, bro, get off my dog. And I never really got it until I was watching, um, like, I, I can't get enough of Shep, so I looked him up on YouTube, and I saw um, a video where Shep was chasing this guy who had stole his car, and um, Deputy Carmack is um, is running um, to get uh, to get Shep, and the guy I guess is like choking him, and so Officer Carmack is like, "Get off my dog, bro." <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. Now, for the other half of this, we're going to um, take Venetian Red. And bring those together. So it's kind of look a little purple. And you know how much I love purple. <laughs> oh, I am obsessed with this look. And I've fallen back in love <laughs> with the Modern Renaissance palette. Oh my gosh. 
I'm following this um, this Reddit and it's called like shopping your stash. It's kind of like part of a no buy thing because I have so much stuff and I'm not using it because I keep buying more and more things. So I'm trying to, you know, save money, conserve my money and, you know, just keep on, just shop my stash, just use stuff that I already have. So now all we have to do is do a little mascara. I'm just obsessed with this look. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go in with my Giga Black Mascara for the bottom lash line, or for the bottom lashes. And I mean, you don't have to wear mascara if you don't want to. But if you do, make sure it's waterproof, especially if you're like me. Yes, hunty. Now, blush. Um, I'm doing something different than glue. <laughs> I am going to go in with Romantic Rose by Milani. I absolutely love this color. And this is perfect for this look. Nothing too, too pink. It's an awesome, you know, just, I don't want to say nude blush, but I don't know. Like just a neutral blush. Just to bring a little warmth to your face, but not being too pink, you know? I love blush. I really hope that this year is the year of the blush. Because I really feel like people sleep on blush. But honestly, like, it's just one of the icings on the cake. It really finishes your makeup look. Now, as far as lipstick, I've been sitting here trying to think of that same question myself. And, you know, you could be on the safe side and just do Mama Star. <laughs> Or, if you're a little more adventurous, I think um, if I can find it, Vinyl by um, Morphe would be a perfect color. I cannot find it, oh my gosh. So, we are just going to go ahead and do Mama Star. I really need to reorganize my lipsticks. And my lips are feeling a little dry, so... I'm going to go in with the uh, Mama Star lip gloss. I love lipsticks that have a matching um, gloss. Okay, so that's it. What do you think? <laughs> Whatever you do tonight, have fun. 
Enjoy your Scorpio conception day. I'm a Scorpio, so if it was not for Valentine's Day, I would not be here. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you would be so kind, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Join my family. We are just having our, just living our best life right now on my channel. So I will see you in the next video. Mwah! Bye.